y'all? It's your boy Flo. And in this video, I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about how, you know, the difference between the male and the female anatomy and why, you know, because, you know, men and women live on two different, like, in two different worlds on the same planet and why they never uh, really understand you know, what a man go through, you know, on the path of trying to conquer yourself or no fat. And I also want to touch on another uh, topic about why women, quote unquote, right, won't support a man, you know, practicing, you know, SO, right? Now, let's, let's touch on that last one that I just mentioned first. Now, that is absolutely not true. Whoever has told you that in any of these SR videos is straight cap. And they just don't understand, you know, things and don't dive in deep enough about certain things as maybe somebody like me, you know, and that's why, you know, I'm on this platform because I just feel like I understand things on a, on a deeper level that just the average being don't get. At the end of the day, bro, a female is going to follow you whichever way you go. You lead the way. Whether they, they And they shouldn't have to tell you that because that's just how it is. It ain't like that nowadays because we pedestalize females. But at the end of the day, when you are grounded in your masculinity, especially nowadays with how rare that is, my G, she is going to pedestalize the hell out of you, my God. And I'm telling you right now, it's not about that they don't support it. A woman is going to say, not a woman, because I'm not going to put every woman in the same box. I don't want to be disrespectful like that. But what I mean is when a woman really, really feeling you, of course, she's going to want to see you ejaculate. And especially when you conscious, you street smart, right? You go into the gym, you, you, you understand the importance of conquering yourself in all aspects and you're so grounded because of that. You, you find a flow within self and through being high vibrational, through meditating, through still living your life, through accepting the flaws within yourself and working with them, learning how to make them work for you like you just got life in the chokehold, right? And it's not gonna always be like that. And even the way you flow through the imperfections of life, how you get right back on track after a little short-term temporary derail is what also make you a real man out here, a real masculine man. Ain't about being perfect, having a perfect swag. It's about growing through what you go through as well. And just having that whole package, bro, it's, it's a very few men out here that got that. But see, everybody on this path, of understanding the importance of SR and OFAP and building that foundation, you are headed on that path into being one of those just, man, just one of those special men out here that women are dying for. They may try to sit here and act like they appreciate the simp. You know why? Because they don't understand true masculinity. Any woman that says that because you know why they don't have no access to seeing what it actually looked like because it don't really exist out here. So you can't knock them for that. You can't knock them for being, you know, miss, you know, miss, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just misinformed on masculinity. You know what I'm saying? And that's a whole nother topic right there, talking about the whole sifting stuff. For me, I could go deep on that, right? But let's talk about this, right? You telling her about SR and she telling you that, you know, she don't support that, like, you gotta, you know, let it out. I'm telling you right now, what a woman really care about is you giving her the best experience that you can give her. Making her have multiple orgasms, making her just feel like a woman, you know, in that, in that experience, you know what I'm saying? And through her just having an amazing time and you being able to do that consistently, right? Let's say, for example, like, let's go back, right? Women, you know, don't support a man on SR. So let me just break something down for you real quick. You mean to tell me 
If you lay a female down and you make her have multiple orgasms and give her the time of her life, she gonna be mad because you didn't have an orgasm? No, that's not how it works. What's gonna happen is she, because of how much she like you and appreciates you, and maybe you keeping that going and keeping that flow going of being able to bring that to the table, she's gonna be having fantasies. Follow me when I say this so you can understand and understand why there is no female on this planet. And I guarantee you that that is not gonna support a man on SO. When you break down to like, oh, me practicing SO, it give me this, you know, trying to be clean for YouTube, it give me this, 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 this two by four, as hard as it is and as strong as it is and as vital as it is, and all this blood flow getting right here and not with the with the limpery and all that, you know what I'm saying? This is why you enjoy this so much and breaking it down to, but see, at the same time, she's still gonna be having fantasies of, you know, because she didn't obviously, maybe, you know, if you're not dealing with a virgin, she didn't dealt with men, you know, making them get to that point where they letting off and all that. You going psychologically Fuck her shit up. Because now she's going to be thinking about those experiences, you know, from time to time, whenever it may cross her mind, because we human beings, you know, things happen. Thoughts cross your mind, I guess. And let's just say you inspired these thoughts to cross her mind. Like, oh, like, I thought that was something. I really want to experience that with him, though. Like, and I'm, and, and she'll be willing and ready, man. Like, at any point, you going a couple weeks doing that, especially, and you just in the middle of y'all doing what y'all doing, you like, let's say, you know what I'm saying, trying to be as clean for YouTube as possible, you you, you back off because you at that point where you could, and you like, all right, baby, come catch this. You know what I'm saying? She gonna enjoy that, and she gonna do that for you, and she gonna be willing, you know what I'm saying? Because she noticing and, and seeing how much you respect that, and she gonna feel honored that she gonna wanna do something like that with her. You know what I'm saying? And if you wanna talk about the little mind games that the red pill talk about with trying to play mind games with females, that's a healthy mind game that you could play with. Because in reality, you're not actually trying to be a narcissist or nothing like that to try to actually manipulate her, but you manipulate her through practicing things that you actually have to practice for yourself to be a strong dude out here because you shouldn't wanna every single time you in, get indulging in that with shorty that you just want to always do that because it take away from it just imagine the difference of taking time off that you know holding that down versus every single time y'all do it you back off and say oh baby come catch this versus every once in a while every couple weeks you you like i right, bet or even if you want to go you know real serious with it every couple months and then on top of that, she didn't, she thinking about other dudes and how he looking like he having, he fighting for his entire life trying to hold his joint down while they indulging in what they indulging in. You know what I'm saying? And then she seeing you just like having multiple different situations where y'all doing what y'all doing and you didn't put the work in. She happy, satisfied. You know what I'm saying? She, word, she... Laid out like word, that was that was serious. And she looking at you just like, you know, like all right, like you know what I'm saying? Like you just proud that you gave her a good time. And that's what you enjoy because that's the man that I've became. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you right now, bro, like that right there is just you gonna give her a sort of kind of experience right there. The red pill is not teaching that. And that right there is game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do your pe your pelvic floor uh, muscle exercises and all that that you need to do to, you know, build that strength, the whole lot. And I'm telling you right now, like, there's no way. She's not against that. She just wants you to, she just, I'm telling you right now, if you was to be doing that with her, let's say y'all been in a relationship. This is how I debunk this, right? Watch how I debunk this. You've been in a relationship for six months. Every single time you letting off and then you finally, after six months, be like, all right, I'm going to try to practice Whatever, whatever. At first, you're going to be like, okay, I mean, as long as you, you know, you're doing what you do, when you do that and, and she's satisfied, I don't think she's really going to have like a, a mind blowing like, oh no, like what you mean? Like, I, no. 
that's more of a thing that may happen if y'all new to the game. Y'all ain't even do that shit and just off the rip, you just, you know, on that. And that's why females say that because in their mind, they think about they single and they think about being in a relationship with a dude and that's what they think about. But if you want to talk about in a relationship and then you just finally want to start incorporating that, she's not going to have no big old argument with you talking about she don't support that. No, because in relationships, it's all about leveling up. And if she would be against something like that, that means she's against just, you know, being a better woman. And then that should be a red flag in your woman life. I was like, you know, about the, the growing and flowing out here. Like, we got to change things up. Like, you want to just do the same thing all the time? Like, let me see what this belt right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, and let me, let me touch on this right here, right? A female is never going to really understand what you dealing with and what you grow and flow through on this NoFap and SR journey because, for example, a female having the same addiction that you have, being her own DJ. I don't know what noise just came out of my I tried, whatever. Don't even mind that. <laughs> but she doing her thing, and if you know, you know. I'm trying to be clean for YouTube. If you ain't understand what that was, then somebody in the comments will tell you. You know what I'm saying? So... Right? She doing that or she playing with toys and stuff like that. I say I had to say no more than that, you know what I mean? And versus what we do as men. We we strangling chickens in the in the hen house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the way it limp you out and we leaders, bro, like it don't make you feel as grounded as a leader, as flowy as a leader supposed to be, man. Like, what is a leader? Somebody that people look to. Somebody that always got that aura. Like, yo, that's him. And every man got that power to be that. In your community. In your household. With your family. In your community. Wherever you live at. Your, in your job environment. Wherever. We all got that same ability, my Z. And when you don't feel like that, a woman is never going to understand the guilt that come with that. Because they not, you know... They not built and wired the same way we are as men to just want to strive to just have that leadership or, you know what I'm saying? And that, you know, I could go deep on that, but let's talk about how when a female doing that, ain't nothing in her body that go limp. Here's the trick. Only thing that matters to females is how wet you can get her, right? Now, here's where they don't understand how certain things is going on in the dating community. They get with a dude, they doing that on a, on a regular, they they being a superstar DJ, man. And they linking up, <laughs> they linking up with dudes on a date. And she just like, oh, he just, he don't make me feel excited. Like, he just, I, I guess, like, or they, they kiss a dude or something like that and they rotation, they making out. And they just like, oh, he just ain't doing it for me. When in reality, it's not him. You desensitize in a way that's even crazier for women because they won't even realize how desensitized they are and they never will because they don't go through what we go through. They don't go through erectile dysfunction and things like that where you could visibly see what it do to you. You know what I'm saying? And just being a man and wanting to feel strong and going to the gym and feeling strong but then laying up in the bed two in the morning you've been edging for hours and you finally let off a, a, a volcano eruption and you just wake up the next morning and you like... I got my brain feel fogged up. I don't feel as motivated to want to get out the bed and go to the gym and keep up with that routine because now this guilt got me fried right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, word. I'm gonna just I'm gonna end the video off on that, and and hopefully y'all was y'all was following. You know what I'm saying? Me and all that. Appreciate you, baby. And I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Salute.